Christmas Eve, probably the best day of the whole year, the kids finished up their Christmas tree decorating contest, so I'm going to finish off my chocolate mint brownie bites. The brownie bites have totally cooled, and I'm just peeling a few more of the after-dinner mints. I've got about 30 mints in the bowl, and I'm going to chop up one ounce of bittersweet chocolate. The mints and the chocolate will be the base of the glaze that will go over the brownie. And then I'll add in a tablespoon of butter, a generous tablespoon. Now I just need to throw this in the microwave until it melts. luscious looking. I love chocolate mints, anything. All right, now to coat the brownie bites, I'll just take one at a time, dip the bottom, get as much coated as I can, and then I'll put it on the rack, and I'll use a spoon to coat the top. It's a little bit easier and less messy than dunking the whole thing, because if you dunk the whole thing in the bowl, you've got to get it back to the rack somehow. So this way, your fingers can stay relatively neat. All right, that's one coated. Now I'll do the rest of them. Okay, got them all coated and they look wonderful. Now for a final touch, I'm just gonna chop up about eight more mints and then I'll decorate the tops with little mint bits. After I get them all sprinkled, I'm gonna let them set. Then I'll set two aside for Santa. I think that's enough for the old chef. And I'll just sprinkle it over the top. You want chocolate, Santa? You got it.